U.S. and coalition forces striking at more than a dozen ISIS targets in Iraq and Syria in new airstrikes. Officials say several ISIS tactical units and a bomb-making factory were destroyed. The strikes began just hours after a bold attack by ISIS militants at an air base where hundreds of U.S. Marines have been training the Iraqi military. And the Pentagon says it appears several attackers may have penetrated Iraqi defenses before being killed. Captain Bob Wells is a retired Navy. Navy captain and was national security advisor to former Vice President Dick Cheney. Uh, sir, it's good of you to join us today. I mean, we do know that ISIS Thanks, used or dressed up as Iraqi forces going into that air base and that they did detonate some uh, suicide attack vests. Getting out of penetration, as General Jack Keane says, was for publicity more than anything else, uh, but yet it's a threat to our own military. I agree, and I agree with General uh, Jack Keane. I saw that uh, interview yesterday. I think we need to look at our strategy, and I think also we need to be prepared for more surprises. Uh, we've got that training mission. We've got uh, a good command and control uh, to support that training mission in Iraq. But the bigger question is, do we have the right strategy to actually mm -hmm. achieve the mission, to actually defeat or even deny and disrupt uh, what ISIS continues to do in Iraq? Al Anbar is a little, way, a little ways out there, and... Uh, and now Baghdadi city now is uh, under their control. Yeah, and, and we've heard from Congressman Peter King, who says that they're only nine miles away from our troops, putting our troops in harm's way, even though our troops are there to, to teach and to train the Iraqi forces. But, you know, when we go back to the days of the Iraqi war, all of this was supposed to have been prevented because we were training the troops up and we saw those troops flee. However, in this particular situation, we have seen the Iraqi troops repel uh, that aggressive behavior by about 25 ISIS militants. But sir, we've got an overwhelming force facing uh, a small number of troops there. How can we defend ourselves and react and respond quickly enough when they're only nine miles away? Well, there's two good things here, and I'd like to unpack each one of them. First okay. of all, is the, is the Iraqi security forces did respond, and they are still, uh, as Admiral Kirby said yesterday, uh, didn't really penetrate the uh, inner areas where our U.S. forces were. Uh, there was camouflage uh, with regard to the ISF, for, the ISF forces, uh, ISIS forces getting uh, onto the base that, itself. But I also think the uh, the American command and control, the American uh, intelligence uh, gathering, and uh, as was first stated, it's going to take uh, upwards of three years mm -hmm. uh, to actually train the Iraqi security forces to get them ready for, for this particular large swath of territory uh, in Iraq that this has taken over. So I, I think uh, we dodged a, a bullet yesterday. Unfortunately, those Iraqi uh, uh, security forces uh, were killed. But uh, at the same time, uh, ISIS is going to try to surprise us, and uh, you can see, expect to see more of these. I'd like to pick up on what uh, General Keene said yesterday, though. Uh, we need to make sure we have quick reaction forces. We need to be prepared for these future surprises here. And we definitely need to make sure that the Iraqi security forces are ready before they enter into these new missions. A part of this is the plan of the president to, of course, have the special forces respond to these kinds of uh, matters to deal with uh, ISIS as they get more actionable intelligence. That requires putting some sort of intelligence on the ground. We have to have some human intelligence there. Will it be the Iraqi forces or will it be U.S. special forces? I think it's going to be American forces, and uh, it's going to be in support of the Iraqi forces as well. I think we have uh, 2,600 uh, American forces there. I've seen uh, planning figures uh, looking at what it takes to actually have a capability for quick reaction forces, maybe a combat air brigade with Apache helicopters, making sure we have special forces on the ground to understand working with the Iraqi security forces and the uh, 7th Iraqi Regiment to determine uh, where the actual critical contacts of interest are to actually target. Uh, it's just going to be a long, uh, deliberate process. Uh, you just stated, uh, Kelly, we need to have that human or that intelligence on the ground to really understand the battle space and then take appropriate action to really defeat this particular threat in these local areas. It's going to take a larger, uh, ish, larger uh, measure of effort, though, to actually think about recapturing this territory, looking at the size of Iraq and, in particular, the northern area around Mosul. So much has been lost and so much more to gain back. Uh, captain Bob Wells, retired Navy captain, good of you to join us today. Thank you for your perspective, sir. Good day to you. Thank you very much, Kelly. All right.